once again to the glorious Peak District, more specifically Dovedale. As you can see, it's looking splendid down that way. So I'm here with my friend Rich, here he is. And we parked down at Ilum, or Ilum, however you want to pronounce it, and we walked up Dovedale past the stepping stones, past the caves down here, all the way up to Milldale, then we went up to Allstonefield to the pub there, what was it, the George? George? The George, we had a few celebratory beverages there and we've come across the access land here to find this awesome spot and well, see for yourself, it's looking good. And there's a nice little flat bit here just under the trees, we're gonna throw the bivvies down, possibly the tarps because every now and then we're getting a little bit of rain, so but we're in for a really good night. That is a good view. So I'll get some more shots of that right now. Okay, so right in the distance there, you've got Thorpe Cloud in the center. And I think by looking at the map, this one just here is Ilum or Island Rock. And you've got Pickering Tor just here. And then obviously down in the valley, we've got the spectacular looking Dove Holes. This section just down here, that we've just walked along is Halldale and then up there you've got I want to say Bailey Hill or it could be Bally Hill I'm not overly sure and then I suppose this point that we're at here uh, on the map it's called Raven's Tor okay so it's definitely top and bivy laying time now as always, I've got the, the trusty Osprey Exus 48 and I've got the Army Gore-Tex bag, a couple of old rusty poles to use with my tarp, which is in the bag there, and it's a Terra Nova Adventure 2. Okay, so that's my setup just there. I had to tie it off on the tree because this bit here is quite rocky, so the pegs just don't want to go in. So we just had to put it up as best as I can, but that'll do. I'm gonna lie just there. There's Richard's setup. Looking good. Hello. Which which tarp's this, mate? Uh, this is the backpacking light tarp. Mm. I am quite jealous actually, because that looks a lot better than mine. <laughs> and we're just talking about this quilt here. It's the backpacking light three season down quilt. First, first outing. That looks very good. And that's the um, Thermarest Venture. Is it WV or is it VW? I know we've both got the same, so I'm not overly sure. WV. WV. Right, so I'm going to throw my bivvy down and get the sleeping bag inside now. That's one of the drawbacks of camping right on a hill. I just took my, we'll go this way. I took my uh, uh, stove out that's inside my uh, pots and things like that. Put it on the side of the hill and it rolled down. So thankfully there was a little bit of a flat spot further down and it's caught in the bushes. So we're up there, it bounced all the way down this bits of limestone outcrop here and I'm hoping to find it in this bush just here. It arrived in this sort of area here, there's a bit of a drop so I will uh, talk to you when I found it. That was close, <laughs> note to self, be careful where you place things. In fact, Rich, um, oops, I almost went down there. <laughs> Rich almost lost his, um, his jumper that was in a stuff sack that went rolling down the hill as well. So this, I should have learned from that. 
Back up we go. Now that is a good view from a camp. Okay, so it's food time now. It has got quite dark. I won't show you the valley. I don't want to cast too much light down into the dale. Right, so we're uh, in the shelters now. I've shoehorned myself into the bivvy bag and uh, it's about 20 to one now. So hopefully the shelter won't fall down. And hopefully we won't slide down the hill either. <laughs> so I'll see you in the morning, hopefully from this point of the hill, not right down at the bottom. Welcome back. So it's now about 10 to 7 in the morning, but I've been awake since about, probably about 10 to 5. Absolutely mesmerised by that view. So the cloud has been rolling from one side of the valley to the other. And hopefully you can see on the time lapse the effect that I'm talking about. We've got some friends joining us for breakfast as well. Time for coffee number two, and then it's time to pack away, I think. So, we're all packed up now. And as we were packing away, as soon as I took the tarp down, it started to rain. So, uh, we're in full waterproofs at the minute. But that was quite a good spot, actually. Very happy with that, indeed. Um, relatively flat. We managed to stay in place during the night. We didn't roll all the way down the hill, so it was all good, but that view is awesome. Just assessing a route down, because you can see the path just down there. It's not very far at all. We did come in from that sort of direction yesterday, but um, I think the steepness of the bank and the addition of all this slippery limestone, it could be treacherous to go down that way. So, no trace left whatsoever. And it's time to head out. We're gonna risk this slope here and see where it leads us at the bottom. Hopefully not to death and destruction pretty steep but we're making progress. The path is so close. Almost there. And we're down. I think we're going to try and cross. That bit's looking all right. So we're going to cross the river. It's not a raging torrent but I'm going to use a walking pole, I think, because I'm going to film it, aren't I? Let's face it. So I'm probably going to use a walking pole just to steady myself. So if this is the last bit of footage you see with the cannon, then have a look down by the stepping stones. You never know, you might find it washed up down there.
that uh, that boot's a little bit damp now. You know what? I'm just going to go for it. I think. Three, two, one. <laughs> And we're through. The camera's a touch damp, but uh, all good. Onward. So here we are, coming back past Dove Holes, and we were just on the top of the hill, just there, where the tree is. We're just saying that it's very rare that you get this place to yourself in a morning. Especially this time of year. You have to get very get up very early. Beautiful. Really tranquil. Ranger doing his job, litter picking. Hats off to him. I'd love his job. Thorpe Cloud. We're just saying that uh, these stepping stones seem a bit of a waste of time since we've just forded the, uh, the river, the raging torrent, uh, further up. My feet are drying out quite quickly though, quite surprised. This was the first time that I think I've ever had uh, water penetrate these boots. But then again, that was extreme circumstances. It went up and over and in. But they're drying out quite nicely. They are Mammut, uh, I want to say Mount Peak XT GTX or some uh, extreme sounding acronym. So we're now back in Ilum or Ilum. Do you know what? I'm thinking about it now. I've probably been calling it. Uh, Eam earlier on. Maybe I did. I'm not sure. I'll have to look back in it. That was because I was at Eam or Eam uh, a week or so ago. So, as always, don't listen to a word I say when it comes to pronunciation. Very nice. Okay, so we're back at the cars now. It's been a really great walk and a really great overnighter. That spot that we found was perfect. Just over that way is uh, Island Hall and the church is just there as well. And you can probably see Ilham Cross just there. So, as always, there'll be some links in the description to uh, check out route files and stuff like that. Try not to pay attention to the tracked one. I might just upload a, uh, a standard file rather than the track log because we did do some detouring. Looks like there's a biplane up there flying through the valley now. So, as always, thanks for watching, commenting, liking, subscribing, and everything that goes with it. I will see you very soon. Bye for now.